I want to share a policy idea with you that everyone hates until it happens, then everyone loves it because they see it in action. It's actually about congestion charging. You see, Axe done a bit on congestion lately, mainly decongestants with the old pseudoephedrine, but uh, we're now talking about rows and the idea that's been tried in places like Stockholm, Sweden, the city of Singapore, where they charge you to drive on the roads, but they charge different amounts at different times. Now, like I say, this is a very unpopular policy because who wants to pay more? How can that be good for you, right? Um, but strangely enough, when it's put in place, it suddenly becomes very popular. And the reason is people see how it works. What they discover is that if you put the price of driving at the peak time up higher than other times, there'll be a whole lot of people driving at that time who have other options. And you know the funny thing is, they're actually the people who aren't in a hurry. So they all drive when there's lots of congestion and the people who really are in a hurry get stuck behind them. Those people would pay more to get where they're going on time. In particular, some of them decide to get in a really big vehicle called a bus, 50 or 100 of them at a time. They can pay a lot more to get going where they want to go faster. Once you introduce a different price for different times, the roads flow more freely and everyone gets where they want to go faster because the people that didn't really need to be there, the people that had other choices that could either get a bus or walk at a, work at a different time or work from home or take a million of other options that people like to take, those people made different choices because the price sent a signal that the road was going to be busy at that time and it was best not to pay the price of sitting in traffic, which ironically, people who aren't in a hurry are more happy to pay. Now, I know that's pretty counterintuitive stuff, and that's why it's an unpopular policy that turns out to be popular later on. But I just wanted to share this thought because it's really interested me for a really long time. And it's possible we're gonna see our government start to roll out similar thinking and consultation. So please keep an open mind because getting traffic flowing better and getting more people who have other options to take those other options is actually one of the most important things we can do to raise the productivity in the cities, make it easier to drive further at important times in order that people can get to more houses and have wider choice and actually make rents and housing more affordable too. Altogether, it's a quite an important policy that is nonetheless very politically unpopular at first. And that's why it's worth thinking people keeping an open mind about.